<laughs> Sorry, everybody. Welcome back to a can of peas. We're here in LA in the 40s. See? 50s? 40s? Post war. And uh, we're, we're big bad detective. The driver's seat. I think we already saw this part. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Mm. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl. Chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, oh, kid. He's so straight laced. Let's find out. <laughs> and now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division. Welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. No. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet. Everybody. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. All right. Are we going to the Mocambo this Friday? Ooh, my pup, my pup, my they really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. Yeah. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? About here, I think, is where the last video went off, so we'll probably. <laughs> Guy gave his wife a tap. Oh! Only if I guarantee he walks. Welcome to a can of peas, everybody. Yo, yo. You know this place? Sure. No, don't make You're the me old drive. Gas people in the warehouse district. I'll direct. Everyone keeps making me drive. Oh, oh, oh. Now look what you've done. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Sarah's. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. 
You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. You finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah, now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Sarah's. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11 King, go ahead, KGPL. Cole is kind of a dick. suspect just left 6th and Sarah's. Cole is kind of a dick. Like, hold on the shit. Roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Like, it, it's one thing to not want to talk about the war, but like, he's just roasted that man. For no reason. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. I'm trying. I don't know how I feel about Cole right now. <laughs> that was really rude of him. One bullet. What, what, uh, did I did I fuck it up? Oh. Well, I didn't. Uh, why do I feel bad about that? Well, let's just go. Oh, I feel real bad about that. <laughs> You Bukowski, go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Oh man! All right, time to put on my big bad detective cap. Get all hauled. Get all get hard to work and shit. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. Oh. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. I'm a war hero, you see. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. You, is he? You were really giving him the third degree a little bit ago. I'm hey. Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Ah, I see. I want to talk to you. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. 
Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Good man. Good man, Nate. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Looking straight on me. Just good, uh, good, honest man right there. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I like Nate. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. I like Nate. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Just look at that straight on American face. Mm. That's America right there. Working you ever man. Seen a car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. All right. That was a solid Thank statement. Patience, Mr. Wilkie. If you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. How's the world looking? Ah, who is this thing? Doc. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. I know a coroner got a Any badge. Sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Uh, the trunk did chime at me. But yeah, let's just get our fingers all over this evidence. M. F. Morgan. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. A whole hog for three dollars and twenty cents? Holy shit! That's cheap as fuck. I feel like that's cheap even for 1940s. Huh? I'll take that. Well, kinda. Make a note of that. Optimistic, Cole. I'm just looking. Ugh. Man, it's like pulp. It's like Victim fucking pulp looks fiction. To have lost a lot of blood. Ugh. All right. Real gruesome, but I'm not seeing anything. Uh oh. Here we go. Got a wallet. I don't like that. She looks... Happier times, I guess. Mm, I don't know. She looks like a little minx that's up to no good. Thirty-two years old. Married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Operator's license. Hmm. hmm. His glasses. Got it. Stenzel glasses. Gotta get my peepers to zoom in. I gotta zoom in my peepers. Hmm. 
Aha! Uh -huh. I thought that looked suspicious. I don't think this is going to help us. You don't know until you look. You have to just wiggle it. It'll reveal its secrets eventually. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Hmm. I don't like that smile. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Okay. Hmm. The plot thickens. What are you doing over there? Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Brand name might give us something to go on. Instate. Heats your home and every. He. I, I don't know. I'm bad at vaudeville. <laughs> um. Doesn't just heat your home, makes for a mean heater. Yeah, that works. It seems like uh, not the murder weapon, just because that, that's a lot of blood. Seeing anything else? No. What about the other side? I'm staring the hardest I can. Anything in the glove box? Anything anywhere? No. Hmm. Any I've ideas? worked with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. I already worked the witness. Bloodstain! We found the a pipe. steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. That's a good, honest American face right there. Not an ounce of communism in that face. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. You trying to get Somebody's paid? Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. I don't trust his wife at all. His his wife looked evil. Do I get can I look at that picture again? Can I look at that picture? No, I can't. Uh, can you Oh yes! I don't want to drive anymore. <laughs> you no. Know. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? <laughs> I hate driving. I'm so bad at it. Oh no, I might, I might drive some more. 
but I, it, I nearly, I was a beat cop. I nearly killed so many people. I wonder if this is, no, I, I, it wouldn't be taking place in, I was thinking if this takes place in the, um, actual, like, GTA universe, but then it wouldn't be LA, it'd be Los Santos. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. I feel like you just don't want to deal with her. I feel like that's the actual thing. But whatever. Let me let me in. Let, let me in. Help Let's me go out. introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. Oh. I'm no good at this shoulder just to cry on stuff. I didn't want to interact with the door. I had to walk and put my face in it. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Uh. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Hmm. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned. And I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name mm. Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are gonna take a look around. When you're ready, we're gonna have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. I don't trust her. I don't trust this dame. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have Ow. a good look around. There's gotta be something in here to go on. Ooh. I don't trust this dame. No, sir. Aliens! Oh, no. <laughs> Alienist? Oh. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. He I have these high visions, American. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull. It, He's gonna give him the like good drugs. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. He's giving him the good drugs. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. The occasions that made you laugh. The times that made you smile. I don't. Huh. Okay. Hmm. That polish looks suspicious. Oop. These matches! Kavanaugh's? So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Good to know. Records and investigation can assist your inquiries! Can't God damn it. Find a phone. Ma'am, do you have a home telephone? Ma'am. Instaheat. Only $82. $8.50 down. And a 20 gallon tank. New greater heating efficiency cuts your hot water costs. 
New triple inspection means trouble-free operation. New easy installation with all connections in rear. Insta heat. <laughs> oh. Heat seal glass wall insulation keeps water hot longer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. I gotta get moving on this. Insane! <laughs> this was only recently installed. Not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Home telephone! Home telephone? Home telephone! Home telephone! Operator, message for KGPL. Operator, operator. Now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You have an American day. <laughs> I love the 50s. I love the 40s. I love it all. Look at all this America. We won the war, you know. Okay. We got flowers. Insta heat. No use leaving the thing half finished. the missing pipe so the pipe missing from mr. black's heater is the same one that killed him huh seems like the assailant is a little closer to home mm -hmm. so you don't say this case is getting interesting I think it's about time we have a word with the miss with the newly widowed mrs. black Hello there. Got some pruners here. Mm. Don't think this is any use to us. You never know, Cole. <laughs> uh. I wish I could, uh. Oh, I totally lost my train of thought. Never mind. Mrs. Black, I'd like to have a word with you. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Who's Frank? So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Hmm. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Oh. You seem not happy about that. So Adrian spends like a, a lot, lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Elaborate? Why has he been in... Mm. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Frank Adrian Morgan? Adrian runs a tool business. 
That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Okay, you don't seem like you're lying. What makes you so say far. that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the form. You're lying, Morgan. Plant, a very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Hmm. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Mm. Thank you for your time, ma'am. What we got here? Circumstantial. This looks interesting. Be a shame if someone broke it. Now tell me what you know, game. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. Where to? Calvin Oz. I need a drink, partner. I need a drink, you dirty Pollock. Wet my whistle. The 111 Club. Now that's a homely madam. Now that's fancy. Cavanaugh's to preserve daintiness. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. <laughs> Do you? You want a tip? We were at school together. Feel my coffee. Uh, how about you buy me a drink for for all time's sake? Hmm. What's the special of the day? You looking for someone? I am. He wants a you know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Boy, that steak has seen better days. Has it now, Frank man? Frank Morgan? Who's asking? I am, motherfucker. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. He smacked that lip. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good boss. Oh, please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're lying, Morgan. You you're were lying, there. Morgan! And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? I have a receipt for a live fucking hog! <laughs> you were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed <laughs> up at my place. 
<laughs> Wait for some money to come through before he blows down. Some 40s An justice. Address. It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. Poor pig. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. <laughs> we appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. I don't Cuff think him, you do. Let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. That broad has socks in it, Brazil. Let him off. He, he gave us what we want to know. Well, if it's all the same to you, Something funny I'll about go back to my drink. Chowder. Sure will. Where's the fucking car? <laughs> Refill my coffee fast. Can Let's you go, go to this one? Let's go get this dirt bag. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Yes. You're driving, motherfucker. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> Type is clever. Eleven oh. oh. K, go ahead. Roger, KGPL. Kind of reel this guy in, Phelps. Schweinblood. I mean, well, I wonder if they're gonna book him on. Cause I mean, like, has he actually? No one's dead. Has anything illegal actually happened? <clears throat> Just a missing person at this point, and we know Let's where he is. Let's check the place out. Come on. Ooh. Everyone living in apartment, apartment two. two. Everyone living in apartment two. It's the second apartment two I've had. Three would be a trend, you know, Bukowski. Where am I going? This way. That's apartment number one. Here we go. Come on, dirtbag! Help you, gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. Then why don't you just I won't put know. up a struggle. Just let me get my things. No. No. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. But I like my gun. There's no point running, Adrian. Why are you running? You haven't actually... You, you abandoned your car. I can't think of anything you did that's actually illegal right now. You Mr. killed a Black, pig. Get back here right now. But now you're running away. Like, Stop right there, it's Adrian. over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. Mm -hmm. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Can't trust a dame. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You could go a long way in this department. Thank you, sir. Well, alrighty then. That was a that was a pretty good time, everybody. Another classic detective adventure. Join us here next time for the adventures of Cole Phelps and Bukowski.
like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. And if you like what you've seen, come on back. We'll be doing this every so often. Bye-bye!